Oh, you guys missed it. I couldn't erase my um, camera fast enough. I took all the stuff to Detroit for that lady. Oh, she loved it all. She she gets so excited. I have to tell her like stop. She she was ripping a bag of cat food out of my hand. I just go let me look at it for a minute. I'm looking at it. She ripped it. I'm like, Patty, stop. You got you got to calm her down. But I was glad to give her all that. And she's like that iced tea. She pointed to the iced tea and tried to go. Yeah, that's for you. I had two big, huge gallons of that Milo's iced tea. I was glad to give her that because they don't have anything. And her brother's hopeless with her. I don't know. I don't know if he helps give her anything or I don't know. But uh, it's hard. She can barely make it with her and her autistic son. Look at my hair. I look crazy. I mean, I'm clean. I got. I took a shower before I went to bed and I... I died last night. I was dead to the world. I made a good dinner. I made barbecue chicken, barbecue kibasa, um, green beans, mixed vegetables, rice aroni from the stuff I got, and baked beans. I made that, and then my, now my husband's got a stomach's bothering him. Chicken's caught in his throat, and that makes me upset because he said he threw up twice because he has a problem with his throat and things. The chicken had barbecue sauce on it, but it's not hot and spicy barbecue sauce. He drinks too much pop, and he just don't get it. He just don't get it. Now I'm stuck at a train. I just dropped all that food off and stuff to her. Uh, I'm in Detroit. I'm stuck at a train track. This train is not moving. It stopped on the track. Eventually it'll move, but I'm stuck here on this track. So I'm like, you know... And I need to go this way. If if I went back, I still would be stuck unless I figured out another way to go. But I don't know <laughs> no other way to go. So, yeah, I'm stuck on this track. Boy, oh boy. And it's not moving. It'll eventually move. But uh, anyways. I'm looking at these trucks in front of me. There's a truck next to me. It says Ariel transport Houston Texas and it has a man looks like he's in combat gear kneeled down next to a cross that's nice you know paying respects to somebody or maybe to, to, to the men that passed away sir you know that's a shame all these men that served our country and the way our people act it's like it's almost like they they spit on them you know and it shouldn't be like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't ever want to talk politics on my channel because I know if I do that, people go crazy. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm in front of a better made truck. Throw all your potato chips on the ground right now, or forever hold your peace. Ha <laughs> ha. But anyways, um. I'm sure all my people will agree on my channel. The, the, the both sides of the government are screwed up. Democratic and Republican. This is not the government that our forefathers fought for. For justice and liberty. I don't know what has happened to our government. The Democratic and Republican is just off the chain. Crazy. It's not... It's not what it used to be. It's not it's not what it used to be. And it shouldn't be these these two sides fight each other like tooth and nail and they, they can't get nothing done. They ignore us the people. It's supposed to be for the people, by the people, and it's just like it's a sideshow. They don't what what do they accomplish? I'd like to know what kind of they're supposed to be lying and governing us and they can't get nothing passed on either side. And, and and if and if Biden, I voted for him. I'm gonna be very serious. If he's if if that's true, all that uh, they're saying he's his family stole money or some of the Chinese. If that's true, shame on him. Shame on him. And if all that other stuff's true about Trump and 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 that in the in the January sixth and all that, shame on him because that was the biggest disgrace. Ever of our country, our sacred 
places of law they, they, those losers came in and destroyed. That wasn't right. That was not right. Now, anybody, I don't care what side of the law you're on, that's, I mean, what side that you're on, Democrat, Democratic or Republican, you know that that was not right. People coming in there and defacing statues and breaking everything. How was how was that? How was that? Some other people come from other countries and come into our capital and take pictures are are in awe of our justice system which is broken down and that's another thing that i don't agree with the way they keep the prisoners that's ridiculous i heard a people a lady son that's in a prison system i'm not sure if it was texas or whatever it's like a hundred to 134 degrees okay there's no reason, I don't care what you did as a prisoner, stole the car, whatever, you don't deserve to be in 134 freaking degrees. Come on. And it seems like to me, this is another thing that I don't agree with. It used to be back in the day, the justice system was about caring and reforming people. Now it seems like it's 100% about money. When my husband got in trouble years ago, it's just like, how much money can you come up with? You got a job? That's ridiculous. Shouldn't be like that. Should not be about money. It's not about money. It's about doing right. And where did that those two lines ever get crossed? I don't know. It's not, it's not right. It's not fair. It's not how it should be at all at all justice is not about money or you can buy your way out of shit and it shouldn't be like that so that's how i feel and i think most everybody with the common sense of a brain would feel the same way you know um it just shouldn't be like that it's not about money justice justice and liberty for all and if you have no money, but long as you're right and you're on the right side of thinking, you should be able to, you know, be free if you had a problem with the law and stay free. You shouldn't have to pay all the kinds of money. That doesn't make, it's not the way it should be. It's not the way it should be. This wasn't founded somehow through the years. Everything got twisted. You know, if you do wrong, well, money will get you out of everything. Oh, like the judge will say, oh, you got a job. Okay, we're not going to put you in jail because you got a job so you can pay us. That should not be like that. That's not right. That's not right. Not right at all. And don't quit throwing people in jail that have drug problems. Get them the freaking help they need. It's a disease like anything else. They're starting to realize that. They need to realize it more. Look, people who have... It's, it's a brain disease. Like anything else, drug addiction. You fools. Help those people. Get them into treatment. And sometimes the first two and three, four times don't work. Because it's a mind thing. It's, it, it's a mind thing. Oh, oh, oh. My arm hurts the way I had it. Now, pray God my husband gets better now because he don't feel good. Now I'm going to have to wait an hour or two before we go anywhere because he's sick so we can go look at this refrigerator stuff. You know? It's always something, you know? I need to do something with my hair. Wet it down and fix it. I got to give the cats water when I go home because I put the new hose on and the stupid skunks knocked all the water. I got a huge bull, huge bull out there and they knock it over all the time. I don't know what the hell the skunks are doing. Do they go sit in it? I don't know. But yeah, so I got to give the cats water. Thank God I got three little bulls on my porch of water for the cats. It's so hot. It's over 90 degrees and it's supposed to be bad storms in Michigan today. Well, I hope they are. I hope it rains its ass off because this shit's way too hot to deal with. Thank God I got gas. Because this, look how long this is taking and this, this is not moving. This is not moving. It's a train, tr it's a train on the, across the road. This is the longest I've ever seen it sit like this. Well, it should eventually move. Jesus. 
I don't know if they're on packing stuff or what. This is crazy town. I don't know how that car got through. I don't get it. I swear the car got through. I don't know how they got through. We'll see. Anyways, Lisa sharing life stories with you. I'm watch I'm watching that trying to do a video on <sighs> I'll come back later. I'll show you guys. I got to make something now that doesn't bother my husband's stomach. Something with no spice. Something that's plainer. More easier for him to eat. I got to think of something. Maybe I'll make... Uh, hey, maybe I'll make something easy. Maybe I'll make the hamburger... Um, hamburger helper, cheeseburger, macaroni, and uh, noodles. It's meat and cheese. That would be good for his stomach. I'll make that. There you go. I'll make that for dinner because it's not, it won't bother his stomach and it's easy to make. It'll be fast. They're moving a car now. That's weird. It looks like a different track. Well, hopefully they get this up and going here because we need to move. This is crazy. This is like for 15 minutes now. I think they're trying to do something. They, they will. I'm sure they're trying to move as fast as they can. Because this is an everyday occurrence, you know. Alright, I love you guys. Come back later. See what I cooked for dinner. Nothing in the dumpsters yet. I could go look at more dumpsters. It's just too hot to do anything in this weather. I had a huge... That haul yesterday was huge. Huge. I gave... Oh, and I forgot to tell you. I gave stuff to the next door neighbors, too. Three huge bags of stuff. And then I took all the rest of it to the lady in Detroit. So that helped like three or four different families. Lisa sharing life stories with you. I love you all. Have a great day. Come back. I have more stuff to tell you and show you. Bye.